Hey guys, this is Scott from Express, and today we are going to learn how to create a horizontal mega menu from scratch. To do this, we will go back to our backend, we will go to appearance and menus, then create a new menu. We'll ask you a menu name, let's try it, horizontal. And create the menu after doing this we want to replace the theme primary menu so we're gonna tick on primary menu and save menu after we do this we'll see mega menu settings over here we'll enable the mega menu uh, keep the orientation as horizontal uh, trigger effect leave it at hover transition fade choose a theme type available skin available skin I'm gonna choose clean white and save let's save the menu again so today we're gonna try to replicate this block section and see how to add this excerpts and this beautiful design then we we'll learn how to add these images in the top and the bottom and also learn how to use WooCommerce shortcodes within the plugin and how to add a WooCommerce widget as well. So let us begin. <coughs> we'll create a home, a blog and a shop. To do this, we'll go to our back end. We're going to add the pages. So first let me add a home page. Then I'll add a custom like called blog then I'll add some of my blog posts over here six let's say about six <coughs> then I'll make this blog child of this main blog over here Then I'll add a shop page. And save the menu. So once the menu is saved, we'll see WP Mega Menu options over, over these menu items. We'll start with the blog. So I'm just going to click on blog. We'll see our demo over here. We can see it is uh, four over here and four over here. Uh, so let me first change this into mega menu. But since I have only six posts, I'll make it three by three. So I'll have three posts and I'll have three posts with image and excerpts and three posts with only feature images so I'm gonna close this I'm gonna work on each of this now so I want to just so I want to activate the menu link I'll go to my custom settings use custom settings I'm gonna enable it uh, post display post image as feature image I want to show excerpts and about I'll keep the excerpt length to about 20 I want the read more text I want to display date the author name, the category name, and I want the image to be on the top. And I'm going to save this. So let us check the front end and see if it works. So here we have our primary menu. And our blog, title, excerpt, and the read more text. So to fix this image, we'll go back to our menus, open our settings, go to this menu settings over here, 
and choose the medium size and save let us check the front end I'm gonna refresh it and this looks a little better now so we'll do the same for the rest of them so for this I'll go back to my menus go to as we can activate menu link go to custom settings use custom settings so excerpts read more text let's read more I want to show everything I want to keep image at the top I'll save in the image settings I'm gonna choose a medium size image and I'll save similarly for this one as well I'm gonna go to settings activate menu link go to image settings choose the medium one go to my custom settings enable the custom settings enable my read more text enable date author name and category name and place the image as stop now let me check my front end and see the progress so so I have my blog post over here but as you can see I don't have uh, wait I need to put the read more so I'll go back to my menu put custom settings enable read more save so I'll go back Also, I read more, but you can see that we don't have excerpts over here. So the excerpts are called only from your post excerpts. So if I go to my post and choose to edit my post, so uh, make sure you have some text on your excerpts. But I can't see my excerpts over here. So to get this, I'll go to screen options choose excerpts so once I do that I'll have my excerpt over here I'm gonna paste the couple of lines from the front, front topic I'm gonna paste it over here and update the post so now let's check my layer menu and you can see that I have my excerpt over here Similarly for this one as well. I'm gonna open the post, choose to edit it, copy some of the text, set it as its excerpt, okay, which I already have over here. And I'm gonna update it. I'll check my post or I'll check my mega menu. Let's make this 30 as well. So once you do this, I should have even number of excerpt and post as well. So, but for the later halves, I'll go to my mega menu. Go to custom setting. Okay. First, go to sub menu settings and enable the link. Enable act active the menu. I'm going to my. I'll go to my sub menu settings and enable my active menu link then go to custom post enable this 
and choose image only and save similarly for others as well activate the menu link go to custom settings use custom settings and image only and save similarly for the blog as well activate menu link go to custom settings enable this and image only and save so if I refresh okay I need to set the image size for this three as well so to do this I'll go back to my menus in my setting choose a medium size and save image settings choose medium size and save so blog and here we have it our blog section is almost done uh, let's add a icon here as well to do this I'll go back to my menus go to my parent menu icon settings choose an icon let's uh, Save changes, go to general settings, activate menu link and show up menu icon and save. And I have my icon as well. So this is how you create the blog section in your mega menu. Thank you.